Hi guys, uh, I've got a little ab circuit here, it takes about 10 minutes. Really good for um, your kind of six back kind of work because it's kind of fast movements on your rectus abdominis, which is the muscle that runs on the front of the abs here. So we're going to go for 20 reps of each exercise and then between that we have 10 seconds rest. So we're going to start sort of lying kind of on our side and your elbow goes underneath the shoulder. And we're going to take like a diagonal V-sit. So you want to be kind of on the side, almost resting on the glute med. Legs are straight, you need a little bit of space. But this is kind of a good one as well, and quite a small space. You can kind of use just your space around your mats. Breathing out then. Legs straight, reaching towards the toes. Two, three, core pulled in. F four, I <laughs> can't count. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and ten. Nine, should start feeling a little bit of a burn now. Eight, seven, keep the legs straight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release. Same side. Coming a little bit lower, reaching down. Nice straight line on the with the with the line on the mat. So we've had about ten seconds now. So it's a double leg lift. Slide the hand down towards the side of the knee. Just lift and lower. Try not to extend too much with the neck. This is the oblique, so you're going to feel that down the sides. Still drawing in pelvic floor, still pulling in the core. I am counting. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, you get a bit of a bend. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ten seconds rest. So those two moves on to the other side. So we start with elbow under shoulder, diagonal V sit, legs are straight, ready, core pulled in. One, two, this is fast. Three, four, five, six. Seven, keep breathing. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, keep going. Legs straight. Eight, seven, six, should get the burn. Five, four, three, two, one, slowly release. Come down onto your side, double leg lift. Core drawn draw in, get that nice straight line on the front of the mat. Slide the hand down towards the side of the knee. Three, four, core in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep it going, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, I thought she was coming down the stairs. Is it on there, babe? Is it on there? Up. Okay. Next one then, you're lying on your back, it's like a half kind of crunch, so we're going to slide the hands up towards the knees, core's in, one, two, three, try not to hold the breath, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep breathing, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then release 10 seconds rest. Okay, so next we're gonna go on a diagonal. So it's the same sliding kind of thing, knees, feet, hip width, but this time we're gonna slide diagonally towards one knee and then over to the other side. Check you're not hyperextending with your neck. Okay, ready? One, other side, two, three, four, pull the core in. Five, six, seven, check the shoulders go down. Eight, nine, ten, keep it going. Ten, keep breathing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly release that down. All the way up, all the way down if you can. You could always place bands. 
kind of under your feet if it helps you can lift and lowering down and get legs straight so ready all the way up one and two it's like a full sit up three keep breathing try and breathe out as you lift four five try to keep the feet down six you can always weight the feet down seven eight core in nine and ten ten nine eight seven keep it going six five four three two and last one then you get 10 seconds rest keep breathing nice deep breaths when you're resting okay so next one is a bit of a lift just trying to get my mat in the camera there I'm working in a bit of a small space today so this one lift the legs up towards the ceiling like a short sand and then legs out straight okay should we give it a go use your hands here to push into the mat okay ready one and two Cause pull it. Three, four. You keep the head relaxed. Five, six, seven, eight. Try and get that nice lift. Nine, ten. This is getting hard. Keep working. Ten, nine, eight. Keep breathing. Seven, six five, four, three, two, last one then it's a rest, ten seconds, nice deep breaths, how are you feeling, is it going okay, <laughs> okay so next one, one leg straight, one leg bent and we're just going to slide the hands up towards the knee and the leg and lifting your body lift and lower shoulders back down core pulled in two three four five so you're just lifting that leg and lowering six seven eight nine ten keep it going ten nine eight seven six keep breathing five four three two one slowly release ten seconds rest take those deep breaths you might start feeling the kind of the abs the core burning a little bit now that means it's working legs straight other side so if you need to support the neck you can you could just rest your hands behind the neck lift one two three four core put in five six seven eight nine ten ten nine keep breathing eight seven six five four three two one take a rest so next one we're going to do a little bit of a cross body again so nice glute stretch as well so resting one heel we'll just do one side then the other one heel across to just above the knee there's your glute stretch in there other ha opposite hand is going to go just behind the ear and then this other hand just fingertips down lift the palm off the floor lift the elbow up and it's opposite knee to elbow and lower two and three four it's all in the obliques all cross body five Try not to let that elbow drop down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Ten, nine. Try not to let the knee drift up. I mean, I mean, towards your body, towards your chest. Keep the knee down. What does count? <laughs> Four, three, and two, and last one. And across. Okay, we're going to sort sides, Keep, take that 10 second rest though. So bring that foot across, feel the glute stretch. Quite nice, the ankle as well. 
Try not to let the hips kind of rotate or tilt. Take the other hand down, lift up the elbow, lift up the palm. Open up the other side of the chest. One, bring it across. Two, three, try and breathe out as you lift. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep breathing. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep the elbow up. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, and lift. Ten seconds rest, nice deep breaths. So the next one we're going to come up to a bit more of um, kind of a half seated position. So you, it's a bit like your teaser shape here that we use in Pilates. But we're going to come up into a ball and then extend the legs, but try not to let the legs drop towards the floor. So into the ball and extend. So an adapted V-sit. Draw the core in. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep breathing. Ten. Ten. Halfway. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, draw the core in. Four, three, two, one. Slowly release down, 10 seconds rest. Lowering all the way down for the next one. Gonna go like for a bit of a straddle here. So this is where the legs are gonna go out wide and lower back down. So you can go just to toes or you could keep them hovered up to you. I'll, let it, I'll leave that one up to you. And with your hands, you're gonna reach forwards and come back down. So it's a bit like a like a leapfrog, core pulled in. Imprint that lower back down to the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep breathing. Ten, nine. Keep imprinting. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and then release. Ten seconds of rest. Then we've got the last move for the ab sequence. So this one, you're going to take your tabletop position, imprint the lower back, drawing the core. Hands just resting behind the hand. We're going to take a bicycle. So a single leg stretch, opposite elbow to knee, come back to that tabletop position. So we're going to add a little bit more pace to this one. Breathe out as you lift and you come across. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep breathing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Full body stretch. And that is the end of your ab circuit to get you that six pack.